Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and we got a quick news story to go over today. The Judges promo, this is the Wave 11 Winter 2017 promos, have been revealed. So we're going to be looking at the two cards here, and they are Spellskite and Pendlehaven. So without any further ado, let's take a close look at these cards, because they do look stunning. Let's talk about Spell Skype first on your left side. Now, this art is from a Magic Online promo. So it's not brand new art, but it's the first time in paper, and it looks pretty amazing, actually. And on your other side of the screen, you see Pendlehaven with brand new art. So it's the first time we've ever seen this piece of art. And again, looks incredible. So these are both Foil Judges promo cards, and they go out to select judges who have contributed to the community. And so they look very, very sweet. And both of these are playable, which is kind of nice. I mean, both of them see play in modern. Pendlehaven even sees a little bit of legacy play. Pendlehaven, you'll find that in like Elf decks and legacy, as well as modern and also infected modern. Spellskite was a huge modern staple back in the day when it was coming out of sideboards to deal with Splinter Twin combo. It's still around. It like kicks around in sideboards sometimes as like a one of just in case. There are some matchups it is good against. So it is still around in the format, nowhere near the the amount of them that you used to see. But still, uh, it's still like very playable cards. So as far as value goes with these cards, Judges promos don't tend to have a very high print run to them. So typically they don't really affect the pricing of the original cards or anything like that by very much, if any. So nothing's going to really change when it comes to the value of Spellskite or Pendlehaven's. But if you are somebody who maybe likes to trick out their cube or their commander deck or something like that, then this might be a good pickup. You can find these with relative ease in the secondary market once they get out there. You do pay a premium for them typically, but they're not impossible to find or anything like that. So just want to bring this to you. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts of this selection. And until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.